हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज दीपक सुतरिया फ्रॉम वशिष्ठ विद्यालय लास्ट टाइम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट बट रिवीजन इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ अवर स्टडी सो लेट्स रिवाइज दिस चैप्टर क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टॉक अबाउट क्रॉप्स प्लांट्स ग्रोन बाय मैन ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल टू ऑप्टेन फूड क्लोथिंग एंड अदर यूजफुल प्रोडक्ट्स आर कॉल्ड क्रॉप्स हियर देर आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द क्रॉप्स like cereal crops pulses oil seeds vegetables and fruits now types of crops here there are three types of crops mainly based on life span based on season and based on uses here we will talk about based on season of cultivation there are two types of crops kharif crops and rabi crops in kharif crops it is grown in rainy season for example rice and maize another is rabi crops which is grown in winter season for example wheat and grams now agriculture it is the art and science of cultivating soil producing crops rearing animals for food and other useful products if we talk about early men they collected the edible parts of the plants as a food however when he observed that seeds give rise to new plants he started farming and began to live a settled life as time passed he tried to improve the wild varieties of plants to meet his demand crops plants grown today have evolved due to this human activity which occurred over 2000 year ago basic practices of crop production student first of all we will see preparation of soil here plugging harrowing leveling and manuring first of all plugging it is the process of breaking loosening and turning the soil over for uprooting weeds and aerating the soil what are the benefits of plugging it brings fresh nutrients to the surface it also loosens soil so that roots can penetrate easily it helps soil is able to hold more moisture and weeds are removed by plugging next one is harrowing it is a method to destroy germinating weeds it is done by using a blade harrow or spike tooth harrow then after leveling it involves breaking big lumps of the soil and leveling it leveling is done by using wooden or iron plank now what are the advantage of leveling it helps the uniform distribution of water during irrigation it also prevents top soil from being carried away and prevents loss of moisture then after manuring this is also most important part of the preparation of soil it is the process of adding manure to this soil and it is done to increase the fertility of the soil before the seeds are sown into it implements used for plugging plow and hoe these are the traditional implements were used in ancient time nowadays cultivator is widely used a cultivator is tractor driven agricultural implement used for plugging it has many plow share which can dig into a considerable area of the soil and at the same time loosen it and turn it next one is sowing the process of scattering seeds in the soil for growing crop plants is called sowing here some precautions for sowing seeds are given methods of sowing seeds broadcasting it is the process of manually scattering seeds in the field in this method distribution of seeds are in non uniform next one is drilling it is the process of sowing seeds at a uniform distance by using seed drill now what are the advantage of sowing with a seed drill seeds are sown at the correct depth and at correct intervals seeds cannot be picked up and eaten by birds transplantation the process of transferring seedling from the nursery to the main field by hand is called transplantation now advantages it helps farmer to select better and healthy seedlings it allows better penetration of the roots in the soil 
it also promotes better development of roots and shoots and enables farmers to plant seedlings at uniform distance so these are these are the methods of sowing seeds now adding manure and fertilizer plants require minerals for their growth the deficiency of the plants nutrients and organic matter in the soil is made up by adding manure and fertilizer to the soil types of fertilizers manure compost and green manure these are the natural fertilizers now advantages increase the water holding capacity of the soil make the soil porous improve soil texture and increase the number of useful microbes in the soil disadvantages inconvenient to store and transport and not nutrient specific then after chemical fertilizer advantages nutrient specific have plant nutrient in concentrated form it is highly soluble in water easily absorbed by plants and easy to store transport and handle disadvantages reduce fertility of the soil changes at the chemical nature of the soil and may cause water pollution through runoff difference between manure and fertilizer which we have already seen then after crop rotation crop rotation is the practice of growing different crops each season is called crop rotation advantages of crop rotation it allows soil to recover its lost nutrients helps to control pests weeds and disease helps to reduce the uses of chemical fertilizers and improves the fertility of the soil then after irrigation it is the process of supplying water to the crop plants is known as a irrigation from different sources need for irrigation to make the soil soft to provide moisture and to maintain the moisture of the soil for healthy crop growth now factor affecting irrigation nature of the crop nature of the soil and season then after methods of irrigation here some traditional methods of the irrigation are given canal irrigation moat or pulley system rahat system swing basket method tekli and chain pump modern methods of irrigation here drip irrigation and sprinkle irrigation are widely used nowadays we have already seen in deep now advantages and disadvantages of irrigation then after removal of weeds we all know that undesir undesirable plants which grow in crop field are known as a weeds here there are some disadvantages of weeds methods of weeding weeding is the process of removal of weeds it is done by hand by using implements and spraying weed seeds so that we can protect crop from the weed the next process is harvesting harvesting is the cutting and gathering of mature crops then after next process is threshing it is the process of beating grains from the stem and last one is winnowing it is the process of separating grain from the chaff then after storage of food grains here there are some methods of storage of food grains first one is granaries dried grains are stored in the granaries then after gunny bags here jute bag is used and then after in silos government stored grains in large container or tall cylindrical structure called silos food from animals milk giving animals are cow buffalo and goat then after meat and eggs giving animal like goat sheep fish hen and dog then after honey honey bees and fish now animal husbandry animal husbandry is the branch of agriculture which deals with the feeding shelter and caring and breeding of domestical animals now what is the importance of practices of animal husbandry proper feeding of the animals proper shelter of animals prevention and cure of the disease in animals and 
proper breeding of animals so these are the things about animal husbandry thank you for watching this video student i hope you like it and you will get better understanding and quick revision thank you for watching this video